This leads nicely into the next question, which is around um, support for developers um, regarding smart contracts. Can you maybe give us a little bit of an overview of that as well? Sure. So, um, as you know, the strategy from the Cardano ecosystem is that there's five ways or five entry ways into writing smart contracts. So you don't need to necessarily be a, uh, you know, a, a born Haskell developer, right? But we actually have the opportunity to, to also through an EVM or even port solidity and other things into it. So we're really working on those five entry barriers. How we think about it as from the foundation side is that our, our key tool at the moment is our developer portal. So we're really striving at ensuring that the developer portal uh, keeps growing and keeps also enhancing and becomes much more a little bit of a, let's say, an interactive Git exchange, where we also have the ability to not just share reference code, but also share other projects and curated ideas, but also maybe in the future have the ability to have, you know, people in the community interacting with coders who need to bug fix in and so forth. Um, but I do still think that we have to be very much aware of that I mean, we only had smart contracts since, you know, a little bit close to two months now, right? And, and we still need much more libraries and, 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 and we call it the Plutus application backends to really evolve. Uh, but we already have, as I said before, you know, we have, you know, business models who circumvented the, the, the Plutus application backend and building their own. I mean, smart contracts are here already today. Um, so this is just a maturity game. And through the Plutus Pioneer program, there were several thousand um, engineers who were educated in writing smart contracts. So that's the first drop. Uh, now, as I said before, Imurko is talking about getting the next batch of 3,000 through in the next six months. And we from our end is looking at how do we add to that by working together with universities and working together with education platforms. And we're trying to kind of find our way in how we can share the love of writing on an extended UTXO model, which is far superior from what we see in the account-based model, but also the architecture of how we separate the computing layer and the transaction layer is something where we really feel that it's not just about the programming language, it's also about understanding the architecture and understanding the superiority you can get out of the enterprise-grade blockchain.